All right. Told you on the next video we we're going to start carving this guy, and that's what we're going to do. So, one of the first things we want to do is remember about safety. You always want to be safe. It may take a little bit longer to put those on. It may take a few minutes for you to get comfortable with it, but always wear some kind of safety glove. I don't. I don't know why you would carve without it because these things are able to keep you from having some kind of injury. And I can tell you from experience, I've lost a finger as you can see. If you watch my videos, you know that. That was from a table saw accident a long time ago and I lost part of the thumb. Makes it difficult for me to use that thumb to push, but it, I can use it as a fulcrum. Whatever, whatever you got to do to be comfortable with safety, do that. I always cover the hand. I want to say always. I'm sure there's a few times when I don't, when I'm doing something detail, little or whatever. But I, I try to remember all that. And I also cover this thumb. If you, if, you've, if you saw my article in Wood Carving Illustrated, I showed a picture how to make these. These are just the tips off of rubber gloves and wrapped in, in vet wrap or Coban or carving tape but this is the best thing you can do in terms of being able to be safe when you're carving because i can tell you that going to the hospital for stitches put your carving back a few days a few weeks maybe even a few months it makes your loved ones <clears throat> frustrated at you <clears throat> because this is an easy thing to do keep your hands safe and it cost you a lot of money i mean what i've got here is, is less less than 10 bucks excuse me my phone is going off so what i have here is just a few dollars in terms of safety and it's a lot cheaper than having to go to the emergency room. There's nothing more frustrating than to have to go to the emergency room and spend days not being able to carve and spend money that you didn't necessarily need to simply because you just didn't put your safety gear on. Do that. Make yourself safe. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to cut this line right here, 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 and here. And I, I'm going to start at the top because I want to make sure how far back I'm going to go. So I'm going to make another mark here. Here's the top of the hat, and so I'm going to go straight across. So that black stuff and all this black stuff and all this black stuff is the first thing I'm going to cut off. Easy enough to do. Normally when I'm doing heavy carving like this, I do this in my lap. That way I can use my shoulder and gravity to do, down, to do that down, but I'm not able to do that now. So let's just jump into it. I'm going to flip it over upside down, and I want to make a... a the tool cut right across that edge right there. I use the V tool mainly for marking my carvings because that way I know I want to make sure I'm staying in the right spot. And then I switch to a, a stop cut to, to, to do more of that. So I've got a Drake. I think this one's a. I don't know. That's a, almost a 90. It might be an 80, but I don't know the exact. I don't know the exact angle of that but it's it's almost 90 degrees but it's a v tool fairly deep fairly large i like it i've done that i've made that cut across i'm going to do it across the top as well because i want to cut the stuff in between these two lines this is going across the grain and so it's going to be a little bit harder than if you're going with the grain so you got to be careful of that make sure that you your tools are sharp if not sharp take a moment to pause the video and go sharpen your knives all right I cut across that hat I'm gonna make a stop cut right there and understand that this is actually angled. And so I can't go straight in and make a stop cut because if I follow that all the way through, I'm gonna be off. So I wanna make sure I'm, I've got a little bit of an angle. And so I'm just gonna make a stop cut right along that line. And I'm gonna do it again. And I'm gonna do it again. That makes sure my knife is cutting straight in. And then I can just cut straight down. The grain runs this way. And so it's real easy to just take those off. Go down into your stop cut, cut that little bit out. If you feel more comfortable, use a fishtail gouge. I do that a lot, but um, and those are great for that. You just gotta, if you're using a fishtail gouge like this, you have no positive connection with the wood, so you just gotta be careful with that. 
but um, I'm doing this and I'm touching the knife. I got, the, got my hand on the back of it and I can continue doing that. Anyway, I'm just gonna cut that all the way across and I'm just gonna continue cutting down into there. Now, again, this video is gonna require a lot of, or this series is gonna require a lot of just cutting out and just removing wood, what we call hogging. You don't have to watch all that if you want to. I'll show it to you so you see what it looks like. Feel free to fast forward on YouTube past what we're doing and get on to the, the details. It's gonna take a little bit to cut that out, so I'll just, uh, I'll just continue cutting that out. I've switched to my fishtail because sometimes I can get a heavier stroke out of that and cut off more wood at one time, but I've gotta constantly be coming in here and reevaluating where my, where my stop cut is and getting that cut. Again, you can see if you've ever used a, a bandsaw, how much time and effort you can save. If you're not able to do that, this is one of those things that just takes time and it takes strength. And you've got to know your own strength. You also got to know that when your hand gets tired, give it a break. Because if you get too tired and you try to force a cut, that's a good way to get hurt. And so we'll see how this video goes in terms of the, the angle that I've got. I'm constantly switching around, but I'm doing the same thing. I'm just cutting down here. I'm making this cut over to here. And I'm taking all that out. And so it's not gonna be, it's not finesse. We're just simply removing wood. That's all we're doing. Me when I watch a video like this it's soothing to see how somebody else might carve but it's also uh, understandable if you decide to fast forward no problem we're just trying to get that first cut and it really doesn't matter where you start you start at the top near the hat you start at the bottom on the feet that's a personal choice a lot of this is going to be however you feel like doing it some people really get tired of the the mundane part of removing the wood I never do because it's all a process it's all helping me get to where I want to go and in this case I'm just trying to get myself situated in terms of where everything is going to go I'm going to make decisions along the way in terms of what I'm going to change because it seems like none of my carvings all look the same so I just want to make sure I've removed back to this line and I've removed down to that line so I've got the hat, the front of the hat, blocked out. And again, this is a going across grain, so it's a little bit different. Sometimes you can get a cleaner, better cut with a knife. But again, if you mess that up, you can always change that to a ball cap or whatever you want. I want to do the same thing here. This is going to be a little bit easier because it's the smallest one. It's a smaller one. But I also have to remember to take into account the fact that this isn't going very deep so I don't need to go very deep on this one but I'm going to turn that over and try to get that stop cut at an angle here's my straight up angle I've got to go underneath it about a 45 degree it's going to follow that line follow that black line that I have on top and then I want to cut up to it Clean that up because it always helps a little bit if you can clean up as you go. Don't leave all those little fuzzies down in there. Clean up as you go. That's less work that you have to do later and it's more cuts you have to do if you don't clean that up. I get it sometimes if you don't want to clean it up because if we're drawing a center line, here's where the, the center line is going to go. 
And some of this is going to come off anyway. These corners are going to come off anyway. So whether you want to spend a lot of time getting there or not, it's entirely up to you. But you can see the see the hat brim coming out right there. I'm going to skip the nose part. I'm going to get this part right here where the, where the head is. And right here, this line right here, is the middle of that. It's the middle of where the body and the head come together. Now understand that there may be a bandana here. There may be a big chin, there may be a collar, depending on what you carve. But I'm at least going to remove that line right there. And I want to use it as my, as my guideline. I don't need to go real deep, but I do need to go somewhat. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to round it off with the fishtail. That's the bottom of the chin that I'm cutting off right here. And here's the top of the shirt. It's going to go down in there. So for those of you who also have an opportunity, this would be better rather than holding it in your hand, which for some of you will get tiring. You can clamp it into a vise of some sort. Use some kind of holding device. And that way you've got it held in and you can use both hands. If you're going to use the bigger bench tools, you can. I don't have that set up. I bought one. I just haven't gotten around to setting it up. Mainly because the way it looks, it looks intimidating to some degree in terms of mounting that particular vise, carving vise or whatever it is. Um, and I don't use a lot of the two-handed big tools that Europeans will use or that bench carvers would use. Most of mine is smaller stuff under 12 inches and so I'm using it by holding it in my hand. It's what I I always enjoyed growing up seeing the carvers around my uncle's store. I always enjoyed that part, and so I kind of fall back to that. I'm going to cut this part right here, and I'm just going to make the V cut there. I want to make the V cut towards this side, not down there, because this is the, where the belly is going to come out. So I don't want to take much out there, but I'm going to do that. That allows me to take out this part right here. So whether I go that way, or that way, it really doesn't matter. It's a personal choice. If I go this way, you can see that I'm cutting down into there and I still gotta go this way eventually. So it might be better just to do that. So right off the bat, sorry I didn't mean to cover up that cut. knife to clean up that cut in there just to get down to that deep groove in there and we're going to do this same process on every one of these places that I've blackened here as we as we near towards 14 minutes 13 10 sorry we're going to follow this same process at every one of these I'm going to leave that nose alone for a while but we'll follow the same process here 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 and here so However you do that, let's, uh, let's not just sit here and watch a video of me doing this. Let's let you, I'll, I'll, I'll get out of the way and you can go to town on doing that. And I will worry about coming back when I've got the overall shape. I'm going to do this off camera because you don't really need to see me doing this. This is just going to be, and maybe some of you do, I don't know. I, I would enjoy it, but not. I've, I've gotten some comments on, on uh, YouTube that people say I talk too much or that I, I should do more carving. And I, and I think we've done a lot of carving on this one. But what I want to do is make sure that you're not totally bored. So let me off to the side. I'll cut out this part right here, the foot above, between the foot and the belly, and between the back and the belly. We are back in the back of the foot. We'll do this piece right here and we'll do this top right here. And when you come back and we do a video, we'll do the next video on how do we go, we've got all this cut out, and how do we do it on this side for this profile. So I'll leave you here at uh, 14 and a half minutes and I'll catch up with you on the next video.